Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, now, uh, when you guys formed a couple years ago, I thought, wow, Adrian Ballou joins the Raisins. I mean, how, did, how did that come about? I know you used to produce the Raisins, but what what came over you guys to let him in the band? To let him in the band? <clears throat> well, the Raisins broke up in, in, entirely uh, after a decade of um, playing lots of bars, playing original music, never landing a major record deal, and generally just beginning to, to hate each other, I decided I wanted out of the band. I was one of the founding fathers. Floundering fathers. Well, I was floundering by then. And I told my good friend Adrian that I didn't want to be a Raisin anymore. Please don't produce any more Raisin albums. Adrian countered that with, well, let's start a new band and do this one right. I countered that with, okay! Thus, the birth of the Bears. Is that how it went? You also said, well, what about Bob? Well, I said, what about I said, Bob? Well, I'd like to play with Bob. How about you? Are you tired of him yet? <laughs> After 12 years of playing together. And it started with the three of us. At that point, we didn't really have a drummer. We started with a drummer named Larry London, who was universally famous for having played with Elvis and oh, the Everly Brothers and Motown records and that's, so on. That's Elvis Presley. Yeah, not, a, not all the other The Elvises. King. The King. The King. But Larry uh, didn't... Uh, wasn't really able to tour with us. And so after months and months of the three of us writing songs together, we said, man, this is exciting. Let's go play this music somehow. We need a drummer. So we imported another ex-Raisin, uh, Chris Arducer, who can't be here at this moment. And uh, the chemistry was just perfect, and we just took off and started playing. Great. Now, for you personally, you played with a lot of different people, sort of like as an import in their bands. Was this a big change for you to come in and be a member of a band for, for an extended period? No, not really. I had just finished uh, three years of being a member of King Crimson. But this was a band that I had thought about for about ten years. And uh, it was based on the, the premise that if you tour the world and so on, you should probably do it with people you've known for a long time and respected and like as people and dig as, as playing music together, you know. <laughs> oh, shucks. Oh, buddy. So, we just couldn't help ourselves. <laughs> Plus, yeah. we were looking for good restaurants all over the United States. Yeah, food is our main interest. Yeah, I understand. We don't care about promoting records. 